everyone. Welcome back to my channel today. Um, today I just did kind of this bronzy, uh, glittery eye uh, using um, this loose glitter that I got a while back ago that I just haven't had a chance to record a look with. And um, it's just a basic pink, pink nudie kind of lip. And um, it's kind of a get ready with me talk through video, so it will be pretty long. Um, but I hope that you will stick with me to the end and let me know what you think of this look. If you did like, if you do like this look, just keep on watching. I think today I'm going to use my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte um, Foundation. And I'm going to apply this. Hmm, do I want to use my sponge or my brush? I think I'm going to start by using my brush and then I may go in and blend with my um, Real Techniques sponge, but we'll see. I'm just going to kind of dot this all over and then I'll buff it out. I tell you, if this uh, the shave balm works as a primer, It'll be it'll be really awesome because it's a lot cheaper than like the Smashbox primers, which are like forty dollars a piece. Um, I think this the Nivea stuff was like seven ninety nine at Walgreens, so can't beat that for a primer, really. Okay, so I'm just gonna use my Real Techniques uh, Expert Base Brush, and I'm just gonna begin blending that out. Okay, so, so far I think that is looking pretty good. Uh, my pores don't look bad. Now, I usually use my Bye Bye Pores powder um, underneath my foundation, um, but I think today I'm going to go ahead and just uh, put it on over my pore problem areas, which is right in that cheek area by my nose and stuff. So I'm just going to use a little bit. This powder is really nice. It's a uh, nice really fine milled powder. Now you don't want to use this powder in uh, flash photography at all because you'll get a white cast really bad. Um, but if you're, you know, everyday use, um, not worried about taking any flash photography, then I definitely recommend it. And I just put it and I kind of press it and roll it with a little bit of pressure so it gets right in those pores and just Makes you look nice and smooth. All right, so that's the yacht. And then I'm just going to put the rest of that back in my little thing. And then I'm going to set this foundation with my Rimmel Stay Matte powder, which I've been really liking this powder. I've been using it a while now. And I'm just going to set my face and then I kind of just brush off the excess uh, of that Bye Bye Pores powder with this. Like I go right over it and then just kind of brush it out. So anything that was left that was still sitting right on the top of the skin gets brushed away. Alrighty. So then I am just going to go do my eyebrows quick off camera and I will be right back. All right, so I'm back. I got my eyebrows on and now I'm just going to uh, prime my lids. I've already primed this eye and then realized I forgot that I wasn't recording. So um, I'm just going to use my Urban Decay uh, Anti-Aging Primer, which has kind of been my norm for, for a while. It's almost gone. I love this stuff. Almost gone, but I can still manage. Every time I think it's empty, I still manage to get a little bit more out. So anyway, I think I'm going to do a look today using some products that um, I haven't used on camera yet. I have used them. Um, I have some Makeup Geek uh, shadows. I have this little uh, glitter, uh, eye candy glitter that I want to uh, want to do today. Let me get my glitter glue out. Alrighty, so now that I've got my eyes primed, I'm just going to set that primer with a um, 
vanilla colored shadow, which is what I always use is my white chocolate out of my Too Faced um, palette, just this white one. And if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that this is the one I use all the time. Just works very well, and I've always got it right here in front of me, so why not? Okay. So I'm going to go today and get my free birthday freebies from Ulta and Sephora. I can't wait to see what they've got. It is my birthday month, so I'm going to go do that today while it's on my mind because I usually will, uh, well not usually, sometimes I forget and it's really rather frustrating when that happens. So, Makeup Geek. Alrighty, so I am going to start off by uh, using Peach Smoothie in my crease. Just this really kind of peachy, light color shade. It's really nice to um, put in your crease. It's not too dark and it just starts to build that color. So I'm just going to start by putting that in the crease area. And I go fairly high with this color as usual with my crease color just because I do have hooded lids and I've got to go up, you know, right in this area to even see the color. So now I'm going to go in with Chickadee, which is this kind of um, mustardy kind of color. And I know it looks kind of intimidating and I used to look at that color and be like, uh, yeah, I'm never going to use that color. But um, trust me, it's actually really quite pretty. And you don't use a lot of it. I'm just going to blend this right a bit lower than where I put that peach smoothie in the crease. And just blend it right in. See? It doesn't look too crazy, you know, when you put it on in the pan. It is, like I said, it is kind of intimidating. But once you put it on, it looks really pretty. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change brushes. And I'm going to go in with this uh, Sonia Kashuk. Um, this is my crease brush that <coughs> dropped it. Crease brush. And it's just more dense uh, and shorter bristles. And I'm going to go in with uh, Makeup Geek Cocoa Bear, which is just kind of a um, kind of a warm brown with a little bit of a red undertone to it. I'm just going to dip that in and I'm just going to go and just define that crease uh, just a bit. And I'm just going to go in. I'm not going to go all the way in. I'm going to go about probably halfway in. And with me with having hooded eyes, eyes if I just define the place where it's like the most hooded, um, which is for me right in this area, this just kind of helps it, um, it sets it back a bit with that shadow, the darker shadow, so it doesn't look quite as hooded. You see what I mean? I think this one looks much more uh, hooded right there. So again, I'm just going to put it right in that crease. And just go in about halfway. I'm going to go back in and blend that out. I just want to place the color here. Okay. I'm going to go back in with my other brush with no product on it. And I'm just going to blend that. On both sides. And I think actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that down a little bit uh, on my outer part of my eye. It's just that same color, the Cocoa Bear. Because I think I only want to place the glitter like on the inner two thirds or so.
I know this is kind of looking like a fall kind of eye, but I don't care. I love fall colors, and I will do them any time of the year. And I know that it's March, and it's going to be springtime here, but I'm still going to bust out the fall eye. Sue me. I'm just going to blend that. And I mean, like this is kind of, you, you can use this look, I think, kind of summery as well. Bronzy, you know, it's kind of a bronzy kind of look too. So, you know, makeup is supposed to be fun. There's no rules. Wear it whenever you want. Whatever season, it doesn't matter. Okay. So there's that. So I'm going to just put that away. So now the fun part, the glitter, which can be messy. We're going to do our best to not make a mess. What brush do I want to use for this? Just going to use a flat shader brush, I think, to apply it. Alrighty. So I'm going to use my NYX uh, glitter primer. The stuff works pretty good. It was pretty cheap. I don't remember how much it was, but it was under 10 bucks at Ulta. So this is the glitter that I got. It's uh, eye candy. I bought it online. Hmm, I don't remember how much it was. I want to say it, I'm pretty sure it was under $10 and you get three grams. And this color is called candy corn. And it's just like this coppery gold color. I don't want to spill it. So it's just kind of this gold, really pretty color. And I'm going to, I know I'm going to make a mess with this stuff. Okay. So let me get my primer first. I'm just going to squeeze a little bit onto the eye like that. And I'm just going to use this flat brush. And like I said, I'm just going to go, I think about two thirds of the way or so with that. Cause I don't want to put the glitter, um, all over the eye and it's just pretty much going to be on my lid there. So then I'm just going to Pick up some of that glitter and place it there. I really want to try that Stila um, Magnificent Metals. Uh, glittery eyeshadow stuff. I heard it's so easy to work with and I want to try it so bad. And I think when I'm at Ulta today, I'm going to look and see if they've got um, the two colors that I really want to try is the kitten, something kitten one, and then the, um, the gold goddess. But I think I'll get that kitten one first, which I think is kind of a champagne -y kind of color. All right, so let me just make sure. Actually, didn't make quite as big of a mess on my other cheek that time. I should have kept out that palette because I'm gonna go back in with Coco Bear and just make sure that the edges of this uh, glitter is seamless. I'm just gonna go right back in with a little bit of that Coco Bear and just put it right over that edge and just kind of merge the two colors there so you don't have any sort of abrupt edge. And again, you don't want to really rub it because you don't want to flake any of it off. Actually, I'm going to keep that out so I can use it for my lower lash line. So that's pretty much going to be the top lid. Let me just blend this a little bit more. 
with my blending brush. So I think what I'm going to do is just go on the outer edge with Cocoa Bear and just kind of put that on the outer corner and connect it up. This is just a Lancome uh, brush, a little, little angled brush. I don't use it very often. If I do use it, it's just for what I'm doing here. And then again, I'm going to take that blending brush. I'm just going to blend that a bit. Now, I tend to not bring in darker colors all the way into my eye because I feel like it closes them out. Um, and I definitely don't want to do that with hooded lids. I want to open the eyes more. I don't want to make them look, you know, closed out. Alrighty, so I'm just going to apply mascara. I'm not going to do a winged liner today. I'm going to do mascara and I'm going to do some falsies today. Um, so I'm just going to curl my lashes, apply mascara, and apply my falsies, and I'll be right back. All right, so I got my mascara on and my lashes on. Uh, I'm just doing some really long, wispy lashes today. I'm using my Ardell 113s, I think. So I'm just going to go ahead and contour my cheekbones as usual. I'm going to use my Kat Von D uh, contour palette. And I'm just going to go in, I think, first of all, using my e.l.f. Uh, contour brush that looks like this. But I'm just going to go in, uh, starting here at my ear, top of my ear, and just contour that cheekbone. Make it look like I have cheekbones anyway. I'm just going to do fish lip. Lips. My husband always makes fun of me when I make that face. I wonder why. All right. I'll blend that out in a moment. Just going to do that other side. Then I'm just going to go in and blend that out a bit with my real techniques. Um, it was actually a blush brush. But I don't like it for blush. I find that it's just too big. And I don't really like it for blending this out very much either. Because it's like too long. And it's not very um, dense right here. But it works okay. I'm going to get a little bit more product. And I'm just going to blend this on my hairline a bit. And just so it blends as best as possible. Just do that on the other side as well. Again, just kind of blend that up. I don't worry about my forehead much because uh, my bangs cover that so you don't even see it. All right, so I just realized I forgot to do a highlight. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I don't want to do anything crazy. I don't do crazy highlight because my eyes are pretty sparkly. And I don't know if you can... I feel like the light really isn't catching how sparkly my eyes are. They're pretty, pretty sparkly. Um, but anyway, I think I'm just going to use this Becca highlighter in um, Opal. And I'm just going to use this on a MAC stippling brush. Just do, just a little bit of highlight. Nothing crazy. Just gonna do the tops of my cheekbones here. And this light is, I feel like really, it's, I got the blinds open right now, plus the my ring light. And I feel like it's washing, washing my color out there. So sorry about that. I've got to got to get a better light situation, which I'm working on it, people. I'm working on it. Anyway, this is the finished look. 
I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, I'd really appreciate it. I really love your support. I know I haven't done a video in a while for those that are a subscriber, um, but I've had some things going on and uh, just, I don't know, it's been kind of crazy. So, um, but I'm going to try and get to the back of the swing of things and start recording some more videos. Um, so yeah, and if you did watch this video all the way through, I'm pretty sure it's a long one, so I really appreciate it, and thanks for sticking with it to the end, um, and I will see you guys next time. I'll start, stop, uh, talking here. Anyway, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah!